Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E-Trailer and today we are looking at our Tui Outway two bike trunk mounted bike rack here on our 2015 Honda Civic. So the Tui Outway is a really cool bike rack because let's say you don't have a hitch on your Civic or you're unable to get a hitch on your Civic. This gives you the option to carry around two bikes safely and easily with all of its different features. It has everything included like your straps or your different mounting feet just to get this into place. You have some straps that go through the top and it's very easy to install. As you can see, all I need to do now is put these latches back in, tighten it down, and that's pretty much it for the install process. Let's take a look at the other features this bike rack has. Another unique feature about this trunk mounted bike rack is since you do have those straps that go in the front, you also have this knob that torques it down here on the side. So it creates enough there, security right there. So you have your straps fully tightened down, which means you can even open your trunk on your Civic with your bike rack mounted to your trunk. So I have it with the arms down right now so you can see how it looks like in the portable position on your Civic. So when you have those arms down, all you have sticking out past your bumper is going to be five inches of bike rack. So that's from the end of your bumper to the end of these straps. Now let's take these arms up so we look, see what it looks like when you're ready to go for a bike ride. On the top of the arm, when it's folded down, you're going to find this dial. So just rotate that dial towards the minus sign. That loosens it enough so that you can flip that lever over and flip this arm up. I'm going to put it here on our Civic at the furthest setting. That's going to give it a slight tilt upwards for our bikes. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So just flip those arms up and you can also move them in and out depending on your bicycle's frame before you clamp it down here with this dial. Before we put our bicycle on though, notice how we have a unique design when it comes to the cradle. Most bike racks have an actual cradle with grooves for brake lines and it's indented and it has a little bit of a wall. Here it's mainly flat, so you just rest your frame on top and then you ratchet down with these straps. So let's loosen both straps so we're ready for our bicycle. Notice how my bike here has a smaller frame or a smaller opening on the inside. So that's why I have my arms towards the center of our bike rack, giving me enough space to maneuver my bike through. And I'm just gonna rest it there on that rack. And then we're gonna get our straps. So these are ratcheting straps. Just rotate them towards your bike's frame, have them go across diagonally, rest that cushion on top of the frame, and then feed them into this ratcheting lever. And in order to get a tighter fit, you can lift that lever up and down to secure your bicycle. This does have a weight capacity of 33 pounds per bike. So just be mindful of that when you do have your bikes, especially the heavier ones, they might not be the best fit for this vehicle or for this trunk rack. But most of your regular normal bikes, kind of like what I have here, will be within that 33 pound weight capacity. Another thing is that our Civic here has an opening or has some space, which is great with this bike rack since we do get a little extra clearance when it comes to our pedals. Just make sure that your pedals are aligned and that if they do swing back, the slight distance of swing that this uh, trunk mounted bike rack allows, it's not gonna hit your bumper. And when you are carrying more than one bike, what you have are different accessories that come with this bike rack. So you have this stabilizing or the support spacer so this will go between your two bikes, so one on each side, and that's gonna help them sway together and not into each other. You also have this stabilizing strap. So this is just a strap with a cam buckle. This is gonna go around your front wheel, around your frame, and then just cinch it all together so that your front wheel doesn't swing around as much. 
This does utilize Thule's one key system. So if you have other Thule accessories, make sure to get the lock cores that match. That way you only need to use one key to access everything. Now what can you access with this key? So you have a cable lock that is integrated into the arm of your bike rack. This goes around your bikes and into this hole right over here where you can then lock it into place with this key right there. Another place your lock cores will be, since you have three lock cores on this bike rack, so one, two, three, your other two will be on the knobs. So if you lock those knobs into place, they're gonna free spin once they're locked, meaning someone cannot untighten or so you cannot loosen the straps that hold it to your trunk. So make sure to get three matching lock cores that match with your other Thule accessories. The bike rack is made of a strong, sturdy, but also lightweight aluminum construction. So that's going to be helpful because make sure your bike is off when you do open the trunk with this bike rack on and you're going to feel about 16 to 18 pounds of extra weight added when you lift that trunk. So just keep that in mind because it is a little extra more weight than you are used to with just your normal trunk on its own, but it's still lightweight enough, giving you as much weight capacity as you can have to carry around the fun things in like life, like your bicycles. And with it fully loaded up, you're gonna wanna know how much length is added to the back of your Civic now. So we're gonna measure from our rear bumper again, all the way to the end of the bike rack where that cable lock comes out. So it sits at about 22 inches of length added to the back of your vehicle. So just remember that measurement whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. I know you already have a smaller car compared to those bigger SUVs and trucks out there, but it's still a useful measurement to know. So my final thoughts about this bike rack is I do like how interesting it is. It has a very interesting install process. As you can see, I could do it all by myself very quickly, which is something very rare for trunk mounted bike racks. I also do like how it adds all the different features like your cable locks and your locks, things that you would have to get separately with other bike racks. Now, if you can, I do highly recommend trying to get a hitch mounted onto your vehicle as well as a hitch mounted bike rack since over time any of those contact points with any trunk mounted bike rack will wear on your vehicle. So that's just something you're going to have to remember or keep in mind. But if you want something quick, you want something easy, you want something that can get you out on the road faster without having to install a hitch, this is a pretty good option. So as you can see, I have my bike mounted. We're ready to go on a bike ride. And that was a look at the Thule Outway trunk mounted bike rack here on our 2015 Honda Civic. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.